Now a word from our sponsor, BetterHelp. Self-care is so important for our mental health, y'all. Let me ask you this. How well would you take care of your car if you had to keep the same one your entire life? Wow, I didn't think about it that way. A car does need maintenance. Well, that's how our brains work, too. We also need maintenance. Just like we take care of our car, we deserve to take care of our mental health. Our quality of life is definitely affected by how we take care of our mental health. Our brain is so powerful, it literally controls every aspect of our life. So why aren't we investing our time into caring and keeping it healthy? And there's plenty of ways to support a healthy brain, by the way. Like self-care, you know, there's journaling, meditation, exercise, and then there's also BetterHelp Online Therapy. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. Every single person on this earth can benefit from therapy. I've actually done online therapy myself, and it was a great experience. So what's iconic about BetterHelp is that it's an online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat only therapy sessions. I love this because I dread meeting a therapist in person. I just feel like I get really nervous and awkward with this. You don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. I definitely agree with this. It was so much more comfortable for me doing it over the phone than an in-person. It was so much more comfortable than I thought it was going to be. It's also so much more affordable than in-person therapy, by the way. By the way, you could be matched with a therapist in under 48 hours, y'all. We do have a special offer for you guys. All our listeners get 10% off of their first month at BetterHelp.com slash Chins and Giggles. That's Better, H-E-L-P dot com slash Chins and Giggles. Y'all, so you know we've been on a skincare journey, and we really want to start using makeup that works together with our skincare products. Girl, lately I've had such a busy schedule, so that would really help me. She's keeping her makeup on for hours on end, girl. So I need something that could work the best for my skin. Girl, get on it because I've been recently using Clinique's first foundation design to be the last step in your skincare routine. Even better, Clinical Serum Foundation is formulated with three serum technologies that visibly reduce dark spots, brighten, and hydrate skin. Wow, so it's foundation and skincare in one. Mm-hmm. In as little as eight weeks, skin appears more even toned, radiant, and even smoother after makeup is removed. Foundation doesn't do it justice. This is a clinical foundation built with three serum technologies. It doesn't just cover, it completes your regimen by visibly correcting, hydrating, and smoothing the look of skin with every wear. Fun fact, every glass bottle of even better clinical serum foundation can be recycled, you guys. Remove the cap and pump, rinse the glass bottle, and place in a recycling bin. This hydrating foundation formula provides buildable, medium to full coverage with a satin finish. In addition to boasting a feather lightweight texture and 24-hour color true wear, it is oil-free, waterproof, sweat and humidity resistant, non-acnogenic, non-settling or creasing, non-pouring, and non-streaking. You got me sold, girl. This is available in 42 shades, you guys. Find your shade today with Clinique's Clinical Reality Shade Match Science. It is a virtual try-on. Don't call it makeup. This is a skincare in just your shade. Find your shade today at Clinique.com. Welcome to Chins and Giggles, everyone. Hey, y'all. How's it going? Comment down below how your morning, afternoon, night is going. What you doing, girl? Mm-hmm. Episode 23, y'all. Here we are. <laughs> Not us naming every damn episode. They don't care. But- <laughs> <laughs> I know. We've actually talked about this. I feel like I want to know, though, like, how many episodes we're in. <laughs> Mama. i feel like it's like my motivation like damn episode 23 bitch we're really doing it <laughs> you're like we're still here <laughs> when the fuck is this season ending imagine no um you guys okay so this episode is gonna be really fun we actually asked you guys on oh instagram to confess I fucking love this. bitch because some of y'all have some crazy stories the last time we did this we had some good ass stories and you guys really liked that episode. So we were like, let's ask them about their craziest confessions once again. Cause they're an- anonymous though. You're they're not going to be exposed girly. It's all good. Y'all, when we ask you guys to go in, go the fuck off. Even if it's made up. I'm just <laughs> as we long need, as it's juicy. Imagine. We need views. You know? <laughs> <laughs> bitch i'm dead before we get started though you know we got some matcha you need to please tell them can you tell them the receipt the receipt, uh, the the receipt. recipe this is a uh venti ice matcha latte it has to be a venti for like the measurements i'm about to tell you 
asked for the venti iced matcha latte with vanilla cold foam. One pump of vanilla. It's one pump, right, Mario? Because my thing's fading. Mm-hmm. One pump of toffee nut I syrup one and one pump of white mocha. Yeah. Yeah, ask for that, you guys. It's so delicious. I actually like. I'm sure I've you can make the match with like the other sizes. But. I used to just get the iced matcha latte, and then like I started seeing on TikTok how everybody adds all kinds of shit to it, and it's so delicious. I got Myra really onto good. it. I've been trying to get her onto matcha for like a month now. You know what this one reminds me of? Of that green ice cream, pistachio. It's giving me pistachio it's ice cream vibes. This one with like the toffee nut and all this shit in there. Mm-hmm. It gives pistachio. Mm-hmm. And Karina got me into it. Oh, sorry, y'all, the eyes. Karina got me into this the last episode. I, I've i been having it every day since then because I'm a coffee girl. But coffee at some point, no matter how much you love it, it catches up to you, bitch, and it will give you anxiety. Yeah, and then you stop drinking it, and then you get, like, withdrawals and shit. Yeah, so I was, like, fully addicted to it, having it every single day. So I switched it up because there's actual health benefits to it. Yeah, I was telling Myra how matcha, I feel like to me, maybe I was not like an addict to coffee like that because I feel like matcha to me has fully replaced my morning coffee. Like for real. Well, I'm about to pull up these benefits. Because now I wake up and now I think about matcha because matcha, it does also like give you energy and stuff. But I think it's like more natural, obviously, because it's matcha. It's also green tea, so it has its benefits. I know there's probably, you know, all the sugar in this is not beneficial. I was going to say, when you tried the real matcha, how does it compare to it's this It's still one? good. I still like the, I still like it. It still has like a slight sweetness to it, mm. but it's, it's not as sweet as this. So if you ever want to like, like cut back, cute. yeah, mm. if you ever want to cut back, do that one maybe. But even then, Myra, matcha is so good. You know, you could buy the matcha packets on the side and you could customize it yourself. You could probably make it sugar free too and everything. Mm. But I love it. I love matcha. Well, let me tell you guys a little bit of facts. So it is high in antioxidants. Um, what is that? Antioxidants help stabilize harmful free radicals, which are compounds that can damage cells and cause chronic disease. And then it may help protect the liver. It helps brun- uh, boost brain function. It helps. I don't know. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm just reading the statement, but it. it says it helps prevent cancer oh wow it has matcha in general has like it's said to have good benefits may promote promote why why am i like getting very tongue-tied right now the pressure's on (laughs) y'all may promote heart health uh helps you lose weight i'm sure that's like the pure matcha like this has sugar in it and stuff yeah yeah please y'all don't come for us what i'm saying is like i feel like if it's you, just better than coffee period you're drinking you know what coffee i'm sure has its benefits too like the just the coffee coffee but the thing is like you get hella anxiety with your coffee i think this is a great replacement i feel maybe it's the placebo effect but i do feel like i get energized with my with my matcha i feel like it wakes me up because mm-hmm. it does have like energy it gives you energy too it has yeah. caffeine matcha has caffeine yep but fall is here y'all well, she's not even here. She's well, like, bitch, she's here in the stores. Actually, let me I tell think- you, she's here everywhere but the season. Because I pulled up to Home Goods, I was window shopping. Oh my god, Karina, you would gag. No, I went to Michael's the other day, bitch. Ooh, bitch, heaven in there. It's literally like orange. So the cute. house, bitch, pumpkins in every corner. Fun fact: Me and Karina, since we were like actually little, like as long as I could remember. Fall's my favorite. We were fall fanatics, Halloween fanatics. Like, it's been, I mean, Christmas beats it, obviously, but we just have this thing for fall. Listen, my favorite holiday, Christmas. My favorite season, fall. Period. Because Christmas is fun and all. You got to go. You know, it's a little stressful, though. Christmas comes with a little stress of buying all the fucking presents. And then you're like, I haven't done my shopping. It comes with a lot of responsibility. You know why I think fall is Fall's so popular? Vibes. It's a very cozy season. And also, naturally, like, the warm colors attract people. The warm colors make me come. Imagine, like, what? <laughs> Squirt. No, literally. But you know what, though? Like, but that's when I was looking into it. Naturally, people on a daily, their homes are very white, very basic, no color, no character. And that's why we get so, like, 
attracted to that color because it's a very welcoming color that not yes. a lot of us have at home a lot of people though it depends some people's aesthetic they want it a certain way and even in fall they will have their fall decor but to let their me aesthetic. tell you fall is not fall without that ghetto fucking decor it's not fall yeah because i like traditional fall give me the orange pumpkins bitch make it tacky i need mm-hmm. my fucking signs uh fall what is it but I think I love. But fall I most think of I all. love fall most of all, bitch. I, I have the one. leaves, and I've had it all year round in my living room. Karina has in her living room, but I think I love fall the most with Christmas candles right next to it. So, bitch, <laughs> choose the season. I don't know which one you like better, girl. I really like fall. <laughs> oh my god, there's nothing like when when you just have that moment, and then you wake up, and you're like, today I'm decorating for fall. That part. When you, you take decorating? out all the fall boxes, I actually don't fucking know. You know what? I think I'm going to be realistic this time. I'm not going to start decorating in August like I usually do. Mm-hmm. I think I'm going to wait like towards like the end of September. I feel like it just makes more no, sense. No, because now you're going to only have the decor for a month. No, I have my decor up until Thanksgiving. And well, then I- you've had your decor up until today, <laughs> bitch, because that sign is still I've there. I've had mine for 365 days. I know. <laughs> But no, I don't have um, my house. It's just that like I have a fucking mess. So like sometimes randomly I'll bring out random candles and they just stay there. Like I, I'm just like disorganized in the way that like I'll try to um, decorate a certain way and then I'll bring out like a piece of fall decor. And like I don't know. It's not intentional where I'm like I'm decorating for fall. It's just that like sometimes a random sign will pop up. Also, like, I do live, like, with my siblings and my parents. Like, I feel like sometimes, like, you know, somebody will take something out and, like, maybe it'll stay there and it'll look like it's, like, meant to be there, but it's not. Yeah. I don't know, y'all. Well, like, <laughs> yeah. Definitely, like, towards mid-September, I think, sounds just right. Mm-hmm. But August, I used to always decorate in August. And by the time it actually hit October, I was over the fall decor. But I do that, too, because I also want it to last long. And I don't, I, you want you want to have the house decorated like that as long as possible. Yeah. Because also for, for Christmas, like, I feel like it goes by too quick. Like, I'll be taking down my Christmas tree, like, coming March and shit. Mm. And that's Damn, like, that's why. a pushing, girl. I know. L- this last year, I had it up till February whoa like why i mean and it's not that i you know what oh i was gonna say if it made you happy because there's people that use christmas trees for fall and they decorated as fall i can't do that yet because a tree to me gives me christmas yeah i feel like it's i can't do the fall tree me either i can't do that but we are here for like the the real fall decor i'm not here getting great pumpkins girl the fuck is that shit my pumpkin's orange (laughs) like great pumpkins what kind of fucking (laughs) <laughs> you know what i mean like, no because i feel like some people try to stick i get the aesthetic bitch like i, I get it gorgeous i feel like that's goals mm. but when it comes to fall decor i need the tacky i need the fucking tacky I orange Halloween. i want my leaves. house to look like halloween town period. period yeah i want my i want my house to be like fall through up all over it all the fucking city bitch yeah i don't get picky with like aesthetic when it comes to fall and then Luis, how he does, like, you know, the events and stuff. Luis, for Christmas, he always, like, decorates the tree and mm-hmm. shit. I'm going to tell him this year, like, I please, Luis, to do my tree this year. give my front yard, make it look like we're in Halloween town, bitch. You know what oh, we should do this you're going to have him decorate for Halloween. We should make a fucking, like, um, you know how people will have, like, um, the little, like, haunted mazes and stuff in their houses? Mm-hmm. We should do something really cool here on Halloween day, whether it's a pumpkin patch whether it's something and like put it around like the city, like, oh, we're having a, you know, a bit iconic. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Yeah. Then again, like, I don't know, it's hard. It's hard. It's like telling people to come over and stuff, but yeah. Like, I feel like it'd be cool. We'll, we'll think about it. I don't know, but I, well, I yeah. always wanted to be that house, like, oh, like, let's just, I know. On. But yeah, I do love fall. Freaking love fall, y'all. We could talk about fall forever, but give us like, give us like a couple to a few weeks and we, we want to deck this place. We're going to deck this bitch out I fall. think starting September, we should. Like, I feel like September is a, a, a well, fall starts mm-hmm. September 22nd. So, like, mid-fall. realistically. Mid, Mid-September. Yeah. So, but I feel like early September, like, start decorating. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start decorating September 2nd. I already told myself. Because mm-hmm. Brian Zito's birthday is September 1st. So, we're going to leave that special day. Like, when I tell you I went one, window shopping, I'm like, I'm going to wait till September 2nd. Yeah. To start decorating. Yes. And but you said you want to decorate mid-September, his living room? Oh. 
Huh? You're going to decorate like his living yeah, room? Yeah, we too? were. Well, well, I was window shopping too because I told Brian, I'm like, okay, his room is like, I want it to be like a kindergarten class, like fall Aww, edition. That's so cute. Like super, like super kid. Like, and obviously, like, obviously I'm keeping it just fall decor, like pure fall decor. Um, just fall in his room, pure fall. Uh, I think even like outside, like, you know, I, I want the vibes just to be fall this year, not even like spooky vibes, just fall because I want to decorate my front porch. Oh. Like, and we haven't painted the outside of the door yet black. We want to paint the outside black and just really decorate like, like fall outside, like the porch. I'm so fall excited for that. Me, it's like, I don't know, just fall, even walking into a store and just seeing the dec- decor. Mm hmm. Oh, it's everything. Yeah, I'm excited. So I'm, I'm actually excited really for excited for fall. But anyways, um, how was your week, girl? Um, All over the place, you know, been at the warehouse a lot and stuff. Been a lot, but I'm pretty tired. Queen, <laughs> you're like still tired today. <laughs> it is what it is. Pulling through, girl. Mm, here I'm here. Good. Love that for us. Okay. What have you guys done? Still remodeling. I don't know. Brian's taking like a century for the entryway. (laughs) No, but I don't blame him. We're like always doing different things. Obviously, you know, he can't be doing the entryway the whole time. But he finally put the drywall up. And now um, he already like um, put that. um, What's that thing that you put over the drywall? Plaster. Plaster. Yeah, plaster. So one of these days we're finally going to paint it. But the house is just like a fucking disaster right now. I can't even decorate like nothing like. The whole living room is just like powdery, not livable. It's just like, oh, so I just want to finish yet. that project. Yeah. Also, um, we got Botox recently. <gasps> Bitch, I forgot we got Botox <laughs> and I got lip filler. You did. How are your lips feeling? Um, they still look a little big, huh? No, I think I'm they're waiting settling. for them to deswell because they were definitely like, I feel like I naturally swell. I, it had been over a year that I had got lip filler and. I wasn't like used to it. Like I always forget how bad I swell and I got really swollen. And right now I feel like they're going down. So I don't even know how Are they, they look. still bruised or no. Yeah. That's why I'm wearing like darker lipstick. I was going to say you don't usually wear dark lipstick. Yeah. Um, and it's hard to cover it with light lipstick, oh. but it's not as bruised as the first days. I always bruise. Um, but the, the bruising is going down okay. and they did a great job though. Like she had a very light hand. Um, okay. my Botox is settling. So I feel like, Botox takes about like a couple weeks to settle. So I feel like I certain face expressions I make, like it looks funny too. right now. I'm in that phase where if I react and make a face, I might look a little frozen and I might look funny because my Botox is settling in. This is my least favorite part about the yes, Botox the healing. Process. That first week or two. Yeah. You could look a little crazy. And I feel like that right now. I feel I'm like that, right that now vibe too. off of myself. If you see us looking frozen and like our face is doing funny like looking stuff it's because our botox is settling but it really does um it does set when it settles you can't even tell Mm -mm. yeah Uh, it's just the process of it it's worth the wait so especially me right now like botox and like my lips all swollen i probably do look a little crazy no i don't think it looks bad okay um but yeah, like I, I mean, I feel like a lot of people have different opinions about Botox and stuff like that. Yeah, I literally like. First of all, the first time I ever got Botox was at the beginning of this year, and I was very open about it on Instagram. But I was also like nervous, like to talk about Botox, which is like, why would what? I be nervous? Like, bitch, I'm near nearing my thirties. I can do whatever the fuck I want, you know. Like, why am I gonna let someone intimidate me? Like, why are you getting Botox? Blah blah blah. I mean, literally, if you don't want Botox, that's fine with you, too. And, you know, you might think that, like, oh, certain people don't need it. People start getting it as early as, like, in their early 20s. Well, people, and maybe they don't need it, but it prevents it prevents, prevents, it prevents. I started using Botox, like, way prior because I, I just naturally have more wrinkles than Karina. I'm a very expressive person. And it's not even about, like, wrinkles, like, with age. Like, it's just certain lines, like, like the lines, like, the forehead lines. Yes. The 11 right here. Like, all it is, you guys, is, you know, kind of, like, preventing those places from You're preventing more so wrinkles. Much. You're preventing, yeah, like, you're preventing it from creasing so much to the point that, like, uh, eventually with time like they're kind of stamped on and that's yeah. how you were at first right i'm not saying like i'm over here aging all over my face <laughs> for me it was like i had very like intense uh forehead wrinkles i've had them since i was like really young so i started botox 
definitely a few years ago. So I started before you, and you're you're never the kind to get those creases on your forehead. No, I do because like, um, that's why I looked into it because I I'm so expressive. Like I'm yeah. crazy expressive with my hands and my face is like I'm really dramatic like yeah. that, like my face. And I was noticing that right here, like yeah. when I would do my makeup, it would cake up. And it would look like lines mm-hmm. on my forehead of how many, like. Yeah. So you started getting it like recently though, right? How you're saying? Yeah. At the beginning of the year, I was yeah. like, you know what? And I had heard of like how when you have it, like makeup application is just like so like nice on the forehead. Like, I don't know. It sounds so And if you do nice, have like forehead wrinkles or wrinkles anywhere and if you don't want to do. Too. That's completely fine too. It's fine. It's just so a preference. It's just a preference. And I've had like really intense wrinkles and like. I don't know, like, if it's just, like, I'm in my head, but I feel like this past year, like, m- like, me estoy acabando, like, a lot. Really? Like, my forehead, like, my wrinkles in general, like, I feel like I'm, like, you know what? You know stress? I think it's a lot of faster. stress because I have aged so much just this past year. Like, my forehead wrinkles shit. were so insane, Karina, and I would even tell you, I'm like, look at my forehead, like, I'm talking about like insane, like insane dense, like, right, Karina? You can't deny no, it. No, I I don't notice it, but I remember you pointed it out. I and pointed you were like, it Look, out because and even you were like, "Oh shit, I didn't know they like, were like that." I I mean, it wasn't. It's not bad at all. It wasn't bad at all. It's just that like, yeah, like usually when you make the face, it'll like do yeah. it, but. Yeah, it was staying without even the face. You could see that. Yeah. yeah, I know what you mean. The point is, I'm glad I got Botox again because I literally feel like me estoy acabando. And don't this, think like, like that you're really me. young you're super super young yeah but I, I just feel like i'm a very expressive person me too and obviously i've been dealing with so much stress like yeah. so i i, I do and feel like it's, it's affected like, me like and like, you know what physically. get your fucking botox and lip filler bitch is a form of self-care period um we we actually we were we were doing a giveaway with them on instagram it might be over by the time you guys are watching this i think it was over already but check them out you guys naked md they have a place in chino hills um and they also have a place in um LA. in la somewhere mm-hmm. they're so amazing like the sweetest staff in the world the sweetest and they staff. will take great care of you y'all highly recommend them but mm-hmm. yeah we're healing it this is us this is me raising this my is brows me, like i feel like it's pretty settled i don't get the wrinkles anymore yeah, me too. I'm or still like in that process of where I could like move my brows and it, they kind of look look funny right now. But I know it's gonna settle. It's gonna settle. I'm giving but... it some time. But yeah, yeah, guys, love that. Okay, should we look at like what people said? Yeah, or? like let's just go in. I'm like, we saw a in? really crazy one right now, and I was like, oh my goodness. So the first one, <laughs> I'm just gonna jump right in. It says the pastor's the pastor's son had sex in the car parked at church. The pastor's son had sex in the car, parked in church. Did I stutter? Imagine. Yeah. Parked in yeah, church. I believe it. A lot of people have um, done stuff outside of church. Why church, though? Like, Dude, like, your dad's a pastor there. <laughs> no, but I've heard of that shit a lot. I've heard of, like, a lot of people, yeah, like, they'll be like, oh, yeah, we did it, like, right outside the church. Or, like... But like, yeah, there's out of all parking lots outside of the church. Maybe because at a certain time they know it's closed and then they know no one's gonna be in that area. Like you just don't assume someone's fucking outside 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 of church, dude. Yeah, I've heard a lot of that shit though. Like I've heard a lot of like, yeah, I did it outside of a church or like places that you're just like, why there? Yeah. Did you ask on your phone? I did. <laughs> Do you want to pull up your phone? Sorry. <laughs> you're like. I'm just not reading anything. You mentioned <laughs> But damn, I'm sorry. That's just a little intense. <laughs> what? <laughs> this girl is so funny. Girl, obviously, I'm not going to say her name, but for you to submit this, I fucking love you. She put, I eat my man's ass. And then she put, his name is blank. Like, his name, what his name Period. is? Period. Period, bitch. <laughs> Lord I have mercy. Mean, I mean, do you, what you got to do, girl. You do what you got to do, girl. I just don't know if I could ever eat my man's ass. <sighs> Yeah. Ooh, it's just you're like I can barely suck his dick. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> and I'm gonna text and laugh at him. Like, 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 no. I don't even let him eat my ass. Like, like, I know. Like, like I don't even I don't let know. him. Like I don't know why. Like just thinking of eating. People my are man's always ass. shocked that we like. And don't. I don't think it's gross. Like if someone else is getting their ass ate, like I get it. 
I really do get like, it. Like people really be telling us like y'all missing out. I'm like, and we probably are. And I want to miss out. I don't care. <laughs> and we probably are. I just feel like uncomfy about it. Like that's literally it, guys. Like I'm not judging if you're eating your ass, if you're getting your ass ate. <laughs> No. I'm not judging your, you if you're eating your own ass. If you're eating your own ass, I'm fucking judging you. Honey, I mean, you're flexible. <laughs> you are flexible now. It's like that one guy <laughs> from the Scary Movie Mario, the one where he's like sucking like his own dick. dick. <laughs> That's more believable, though, bitch. Your asshole, like, jeez. I don't need my ass ate. I eat it myself. Like, like, are, are you picturing it like him bending back or forward? Like, wait. Oh no, that's you're probably bending forward. <laughs> that's fucking gross. I don't that's know. Too much. I'm a hundred percent not judging you if you're getting your ass ate or if you're eating ass. I'm Period. really not. I'm, and I understand how I could picture like I'm rooting oh, yeah. for you. Yeah, I could picture like oh yeah, I'm sure like. It, like i could picture the sensation i'm like i could see yeah like getting down and dirty and you're like that they shit say is iconic. that your like g-spot is like around your anus i'm sure and i'm sure and i'm like i envision it and i'm like yeah i could see that being iconic and stuff <laughs> but i just don't i don't know like i just don't want like i don't know i'm too yeah, ticklish but it's all good though like, go ahead girl eat your man's out <laughs> eat your man's out, <laughs> ass, man's ass out. <laughs> go the fuck off queen eat his ass <laughs> No, if I'm really weird about getting my ass ate, like eating my man's ass is a whole other story. That's bitch. a whole. You can't pay me enough to eat my man's ass. <laughs> that shit is hairy, bitch. How the fuck? Like I oh, can't fuck do it, bitch. No. Oh my god! But you know what? Props to you, girl. You're a fucking queen. <laughs> we the, love her. The silence is queen. loud. <laughs> Just kidding. The silence in these comments. I was gonna. <laughs> no. No. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> Okay, sorry, sorry. My ex cheated on me with his tia. Oh, his tia? Hold on, bitch. For, <laughs> with his tia, I have a feeling y'all making this shit up. Bitch. Make them up, girl. <laughs> Sometimes I'm like, come on, y'all. That gotta be Make something crazy. Shit good. I'm but like, like he 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 cheated. He cheated on her with his tia, not her tia. His tia. Some people are fucking weird, dude. That's too weird. Like your own tia, it may maybe it was his his tia, but like the blood is his uncle, like the one he's oh, related to. But like, that's his wife. Like, oh, that's fucking. It's still it's fucking wrong. Too dude. weird because you somehow. But you're still my fucking aunt. It ain't happening. Like it's weird. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, this was good. I slapped the shit out of my ex's sister for talking bad about my mom. Ooh, Ooh I, bitch. bitch. I'd fucking knock him I would too. Him. Oh my God. It's so crazy how there's so much like in law drama. Like, I could never see myself having drama with like my sister in law or my brother in law or my in laws. Like, like I love my sister in law. Yeah. It's just so crazy how there's like that. Stuff like that. I know that's so weird. But think about this scenario. She was talking shit about your mom. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, okay. That's so some crazy. Some bitches have some balls too and need to get like, like obviously, like, Marisol would never do some shit like oh, that. Oh shit! No, she wouldn't. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, but you think about like certain people. Like, yeah, I probably wouldn't fuck with you if you were talking Mm-mm. shit about my mom. Yeah, I'm with my girl, but still sneaky linking with my ex. Mm, that's uh, sad. No, uh-uh, uh-uh. it's a guy too. A guy that admitted this. No, no, don't do. I this. know I said comment your confessions, but please don't do that. Don't cheat on her. Mm. like <sighs> it's not gonna end good i don't know what the intentions I are but she's gonna find out oh my the god the truth always comes out <gasps> this one i caught my mother-in-law masturbating i couldn't look her the same <gasps> after that <gasps> that's too much <laughs> holy shit i forget that people masturbate <laughs> i forget that people are i forget aged. that that the 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 elder people do stuff too i forget that our elderlies also are getting it on and like why do i also feel like medieval times people were not sucking dick or getting their ass ate and they were <laughs> but did you know that they were yes like why not it was like more it was more frowned upon back then but like i'm sure these bitches were sucking dick <laughs> and getting the assay 100%. I mean, who in that age? You're like, bitch, shit, man. I would. Imagine 
<laughs> I'm not even doing it now when there's showers. Even. But imagine, imagine back then where I know that they would shower other ways and stuff, like with like I'm sure like lakes and stuff. But like they were not showering as often. Oh, <gasps> what? Wouldn't they go months without showering? Mama, that Whoa. ass probably stank. No, that's disgusting. Maybe they weren't eating ass because that shit was probably lethal at that time. Because that's disgusting. Yeah, that's so disgusting. No. <laughs> No, but the, to find your mother-in-law masturbating, I can't like, even. Do your parents my, even make out? Like those are the kind of questions. I don't be. even want to imagine like the fact Shut that up. my parents like <laughs> don't say it. Like I know, even Shh. like Shh. like you guys, like your parents. You know, it depends on how old they are, and it depends like whatever. But your parents are likely getting it on y'all, and I know I'm not the only one here. I know y'all could agree. Just thinking about our parents. Like, oh, my parents are like in love. I know they're still getting it on. Yeah, and it's like when y'all think about that, doesn't that make you just like? Do you ever bring it up like with your siblings and you guys are all cringing? Like, holy shit! But it makes me happy to think that they are. Yeah, you know, because I'm like, go off, like that's so cute. You guys are in love and stuff, but it's just fuck. I don't want to picture that shit, Lord. Mm-hmm. It's weird. Let's it's move on. Masturbating girl. Let's move on. Don't say that shit. <laughs> Le bajé el novio a mi amiga back in eighth grade. Now we're married with two kids. She's basically saying, like, oh. I took my friend's man in eighth grade and now they're married with two kids. Well, it was eighth grade. Oh. I mean, it still didn't make it okay, period. Don't let your girl stop you from getting your wife. Oop! Oop! Oop. No, no, nah, that's too much, girl. That's too much. I, I know you thought you was doing so something, but it's imagine. a fucking joke. I'm sorry. <laughs> she was in eighth grade. Yeah, it makes me think though, eighth grade, how serious was that shit? No, okay, but look. still, don't do that shit. I don't care if you're five. Of course, look, if I was in eighth grade and I was dating somebody and my best friend took him and now they're married, yeah, I'd be like, what the fuck? But also, I'd be like, we were 13, bitch. You're not even in high school yet. Mm-hmm. It's, don't let that ruin your life either, you know? Oh, hell no. I mean, I get it. Hold on. Girl code, but I've been having an affair with my BFF's dad. Long story, she doesn't know. Long story. Give me the details. I was kidding. She doesn't. Oh wait, I thought it was like her boy, her boyfriend's, um, man. It's her dad. Okay, I mean that's still, still weird. Crazy. Like what, girl? <sighs> See, that's what like. It just kind of. It's just when I hear about dads getting it on with like the friends, I'm thinking like, she's most likely your daughter's age. That is fucking weird. What? You know what I mean? Oh like that's God. like your daughter. She could be your daughter. Like <laughs> Oh my God. I mean, go off, girl. You know, if they both single doing their thing, go the fuck off, I guess. It's just like crazy. Wow. <laughs> My cousin and her baby daddy ask me for a threesome all the time, and of course I say no. My cousin and her baby dad? That's fucking weird, dude. Her own cousin? If my man was asking for a threesome with my cousin, I'd be like, you want my cousin. If he was asking for a threesome with anybody. <laughs> That's a no for me, bitch. I'm sorry. I it's know a that- fucking no. He, I'm not enough for you. Let's talk about threesomes real quick. Like, I know every relationship is different. I know there's like open relationships and stuff. I could never. I could never. I really could never because once you have a threesome, like the fact that your man's fucking feelings another, are involved, bitch. Like there's gonna be feelings involved. Like what were we talking about the other day? Um, with Elizabeth, how we're saying like, imagine seeing your man making faces he's never made with you with another bitch. <laughs> oh my god! Making noises he's never made with you, bitch. Oh my god! Jesus Hell Christ. Oh my no! God. I literally like my soul leaves my body just thinking about. It, like it's just like like finishes with her oh Ooh, my bitch. god too He's much like trying to hold it back i'm out of coming oh my god no 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 i can't i can't i just I can't. wouldn't be i feel like someone that's gonna have a threesome is it's just literally three people that have no actual like real feelings for each other that's too much <laughs> no fuck no dude it's too much you're literally like Hell I just no. I just could never. No. And there's gonna be feelings involved with one or the other. Fuck that. And then and then he's gonna realize that he likes fucking this bitch and then they're gonna stuff start hey, fucking I've heard behind of, your back. I've heard of real life stories and shit like that where like then they start fucking behind your back and then you're shocked and it's like you're shocked, y'all all fuck together. Like 
Dude, that's crazy. Oh my God, this is too much. It's too much. <sighs> I can't. Someone said, this is not that crazy, but when my man and I fight, I masturbate afterward and it helps relieve the stress. Oh. <laughs> I mean, fucking queen. It's kind of like makeup sex, but with yourself. I mean, you know what? She's doing it in a healthy way. She's not taking her anger out on anybody. Queen. I mean, she's... What is it about, like, makeup sex and stuff? You know what I mean? Maybe it's like her makeup sex. Makeup sex is like... You're just like... It's like mandatory, right? Kind of. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not always, but like some like if it's a big fight, you're kind of like reconciling. Like, I love you. I don't know what the fuck happened. And because like, and there was so that tension... so much passionate for some reason. Yeah, because you so thought you were going to lose them or something. Like, <laughs> what is the reason? Girl, I don't know, but it does... It is great. I just found out with my... I just found out my sister slept with a married man and she knew she was married. Oh, she knew he was married. That's hard. I'm seeing a lot of like, yeah, like sleeping with a married man. See, like if you didn't know, like, I'm gonna just be honest. Like if this was a friend, Uh if you didn't know, I'd be like, that's some shit. If you knew, bitch, I'm kind of (laughs) judging. it's so hard like what yeah, kind of home yeah. ranking shit is this yeah. because first of all it's not just her fault let me clear that up because i feel like sometimes we go for the woman no it's his that tells a lot about oh. this man too and a lot of sorry a lot of times these women are being told i'm married but we're separated and we're going mm. through shit and we're about to get the like i feel that like part. that's always the case they say like Oh, we're getting separated. And then you're like holding on to this hope, like, oh, their yeah. relationship is in shambles. They're already at the That's edge of the That's still even at the more believable, though. But they but like, always do that shit. You yeah. think he's going to, I guarantee you that 90% of the time he's going to say, like, no, I guarantee that. It's like 100% of the time mm-hmm. he's saying, like, yeah, I'm married, but we're going through shit. It's going to end any day now. We're in the process of getting a divorce. I bet it's, it's definitely every time. The, the guy's fault. You think he's telling her, yeah, I'm married with kids, by the way, and like, you're still down? Mm-hmm. That's not how it's going down. It's definitely the guy's fault because the he's guy a, fucking yeah. If he was a respectful gentleman, he wouldn't have even, even allowed it. Period. And for you to when you do find out that he is married, and if you continue it, that's I'm when it's an issue. You. Because if he's doing that to his wife and family, kids, that should be his everything. But that's also her cousin. Oh, like that's God. weird. No, the whole married thing, guys. Like once you find out, you gotta dip. You know, think about those kids, girl. It's a lot. It's a lot. Men out here doing the fucking most, y'all. You can't trust these dudes. I tried anal with my ex and literally diarrhea on him. So embarrassing. Never again. No. I believe it 100%. Because when there's Don't you know when you have, like, kind of, like, something there? Shit. What do you mean? (laughs) Yeah. Well, yeah. You know, you know when you have to use a restroom, like you know when you could hold it, but like you know when there's something but there. There's times that like you don't know if you really have to take a shit, or what if you're out and about, Myra, and you just pulled over and you're getting freaky in a car. But if you like, you could physically know when there is like shit lingering, like backed up where you need to empty. Yes. It. Yeah. Right. But- like I know right now, if I went to the restroom, nothing's coming out because there's nothing sitting there. Have you ever tried it? No. I know as a personal question. Yeah. But when you do that, there's an object going inside your ass. <laughs> Realistically, there's nothing that should be in, coming in. It's to expel shit. Literally shit. It's meant to like take shit out, right? So when you have something going in, your your reflexes, Myra, your 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 muscles automatically want to shit it out. Mm-hmm. So when there is something going up your ass, mm-hmm you want to shit it out right so as it's coming back out you feel like you're taking an actual shit it feels exactly like that so when you're doing that i could 100 percent <laughs> see if i have something backed up in there that i didn't know i had bitch the shit is coming out with your dick <laughs> oh my god that shit is coming out chocolate dipped bitch i could understand that if you have shit in there backed up and you don't even realize it no, that's something that I've experimented with. Never again. That shit, I don't like that either, girl. It's a lot. You're like, I got, a, bu- I got a butt plug in me right now. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> hey, you know, I actually heard that butt plugs are like, I heard they're really good. 
I feel like for me, like the whole anal thing is like that's gotta be like on a rare occasion, and it's like no, I just prefer not, absolutely not. But yeah. like we've all like you know played around with it and stuff, but yeah. it's too much, girl. <laughs> the the butt plugs though, I've actually heard that they're iconic. I just don't know but if I would why? ever try one. Did you just leave it on the whole day, or I don't think I would ever try it. But no, oh, wait, people- do you put it on just for fun and go on with your day? No, people put it on usually. I'm assuming when. They- you know what? There is a girl like that. I um I think I came across her on TikTok or in someone's podcast that she like wears a butt plug like all day. Why? Yeah. Oh no no yeah yeah it's a uh it's a stripper that I watch on TikTok and she has a YouTube channel. Have you seen her? <laughs> Hold on. And she literally Why? like and she wears it specifically on the pole too because like it's iconic. You know when you're dancing on the fo- on stage and you bent over and he sees it's like a little bunny thing that she has. She calls it like something like a bunny tail. Oh. So when she's bending over on stage, the guys are seeing that, oh, this she got a fucking butt plug in and it just like they're tipping her more. Yeah, no, but if she walking it, to the grocery store with a butt plug in her ass, girls, what I'm asking. <laughs> gotta clog it up, girl. <laughs> no, but I, I have heard that butt plugs are just like it's just the right amount of pressure to like feel nice. I don't know. I haven't tried it. You know it. what I did hear that like porn stars sometimes have to like stitch it up because they end up like pooping themselves of how much they do that really i mean i'm assuming after a while your muscles would like expand but i don't know yeah probably i don't know (laughs) you're like yeah i'm on that uh, i'm i'm heading there too what's up (laughs) no 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 like for me it's only been experimental i'm not about like (laughs) <laughs> you're like are. i'm not about to butt plex gorge <laughs> no i just feel like for me the whole thing like anything up my ass it just feels uncomfortable and i do feel like i need to take a shit immediately so it's just a no for me girl <laughs> well, anyways an no. moving on i cheated on my husband and now i'm pregnant i don't know whose kid it is wait hold on what she cheated on it's like you cheating on raul and you get pregnant and now you really don't know if it's his kid or uh, the guy's it, Oh, <laughs> this is too much. Like you cheated on him, and now you're pregnant, but oh, you still God. got a husband that you probably fuck. Like, and now you see that's actually a really sad situation. Like when I think about it, being pregnant and not knowing who the father is, that has to be so sad because you know you're oh. trying to like figure out who it is and who's oh, willing to stick around. And if it is the guy she cheated on with. Oh my god! Now she's really gonna have to like start a family with this guy. I mean, if you know, I'm sure the other guy's gonna be That's so fucking so hard. disappointed. Like, you hear of like, and you know what? You do hear of like real life um, stories from people like, like, oh, um, I was born when my parents were taking a break, and my mom was like with someone else. Like you, you do hear <gasps> yes. stories. I feel like I know people like that. Yeah, yeah. And you're like, oh shit, that's crazy. That's fucking crazy. That's wild, dude. But how would you feel like if Raul... Well, it's like, like my dad, Myra. My dad, like, his dad was much older. But my grandma was, like... Like, I guess he, like... Yeah, like, she's crazy. I don't know. Like, he was much older. And, like, I think he was, like... He, was, he had, like, another family. And, like, he started a family with her. And I was just, like, crazy. Mm-hmm. But I'm grateful for that because I'm, like, dang, everything happens for a reason. Like, my dad wouldn't have If existed. that man would have not, like... My dad needs that, to tell that would've... story on the podcast. Like, how his parents met. Yeah. That's insane. That's crazy. Huh? Yeah. But what would you do if, like, Raul, you find out Raul got somebody else pregnant? When you're on a break and stuff? Oh, my God. No, I could And I you can't. guys decide to reconcile? And now he has another child? I don't know. You know what? When it comes to stuff like that, I always say, like, hell no, I wouldn't deal with it. Or I'll tell Raul, like, sometimes, you know, like, you know, if you ever do some shit, like, I'm fucking done. That's it. And, like, it's so easy to say it when you're not in the situation like there's people that go through some shit and they you know they fix it and they stay together and like you never know until you're in that situation but obviously if you ask me i'd be like hell fucking no you know oh my god girl this morning i had a big old bowl of sucaritas it was so good girl don't you mean frosted flakes well in our culture girl i've also heard los del tigre so and what do you call fruit loops Fruity Loopies, mama. Oh, Los del Tucan, right? There you go. And I also really like the the rooster one. You mean cornflakes? Oh my god, wait, that is cornflakes. The rooster one is cornflakes, but we call well, it we call it cornflakes. Well, let's keep it a hundred, girl. My mom called every cereal <laughs> under the sun cornflakes. The special K two. The special K two, girl. My mom called literally uh, growing up. 
Everything is conflates. Period. Comment below. You already know. So Mia, are you teaching her like the different flavors? Or are you calling them all conflates too? I refer to them just like my parents did growing up because I I actually find it really important to teach Mia both English and Spanish. Not just the language, but really incorporating like the lingo that we use. I will literally like bring out cereal and be like, "You want conflates? You want socaritas?" Because I want that implemented in her just like we grew up. Mm-hmm. And Mama, that's why they say Kellogg cereals are on Mom's tables. Aquí y allá. Period. And someone said, I run my high school's biggest confession page on Instagram. Mm? <laughs> I run my high school's biggest confession page on Instagram. Oh, not the fucking mean not girl. Her, not her not her owning a tea. Not page. the burn book. <laughs> not the but burn on Instagram. Book. Oh my god. I took a dump on the side of the road because I couldn't hold it anymore. I told my friend I just needed to throw up. <laughs> like what? <bye. laughs> At that point, I would just tell my friend, like, girl, I got to take a shit. I can't hold it. Yeah. You know when you're, like, driving somewhere or when you're Every taking a hike? Every bump is like, oh, shit. No, and you are literally there, like, God, please, God. Just please, please don't let me shit myself. And you're like, it's going to come out. And it's you can't even out. speak. Because uh-huh. you can't even speak because you're trying to focus so hard on not shitting your pants. I remember once, like, years ago, we had gone to Denny's. Do you remember? We were, like, with with karen and all of them oh. Oh. <laughs> we were on our way back and you remember where we used to live there used to be bumps and i remember they were cracking up i'm like no like i'm really gonna shit myself and every single bump i was like oh like it was just so bad and no. I, I i made it but i really thought like i'm gonna shit here right now in front of all of my friends oh my god no i've been when you're like when you're like on a hike and there's not a bathroom in sight oh and you're like i have two miles left i'm going to shit my pants right now have you ever shit your pants over? No. Oh, no, yeah. No, I, I know I said here that I have shit my pants, and that's if I have, like, if I'm sick and I think it's, like, a fart or something, but not, like, diarrhea <laughs> myself like that. Oh, my God. I've never been like, ugh, that's it. I'm going to take a big, fat load right here I'm in my pants. No. <laughs> fucking gross. Not me walking around with a fucking, like, log on my ass. <laughs> uh, when I was 16, me and my boyfriend would fuck in front of both of my brothers while they were asleep. Oh, that's too much. That's too much, Gorge. Hold on. Like, you're over here fucking having an orgasm as your brother's right next to you. No, no, no. Hold on, because I feel like a lot of people are going to hear that and be like, okay, I relate. Like, I've never done that. Yeah. But, like, when you're barely dating or whatever and you're, like, desperate, (laughs) you're probably thinking about all fucking possible ways, you know? Like, so I could I mean, understand. I think about some crazy shit and I'm like, yeah, like. I could understand. I get I it. I look back at some stupid shit too. Yeah. But like, no, I didn't, wouldn't have the balls in me like to be like, my baby brother is sleeping. Let me get an arm real quick. Holy fuck. <laughs> That's a risk I'm not willing to take. I don't know. <laughs> Just like a crazy. lot of like, I slept with a married man. And this girl said not once, but three times. What? I wonder if she knew. That she's saying I slept with a married man. (gasps) (laughs) Yeah, go ahead. I had sex with one guy in the morning and got eaten out by the different guy that afternoon. Period. (laughs) I'm fucking dead. As you should, queen. (laughs) As you fucking should. No, 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 I'm gonna be real because if this was a guy coming to me, we would be like, <gasps> you know, so like, I mean, yeah, it's crazy. Girl, you're wild. You're I mean, wild. she got bitches. Like, she, she, she really do. Oh I'm my dead. God. You know what? As long as, like, you know, like when you fuck, fuck, like, that's how you want, like, that's, you're kind of done with the day. Like, she was horny twice. <laughs> like, she said she's getting it in. Like, queen. Oh my God. Wait, I want to know. Like, so she had sex with, this guy in the morning and then she got eaten out that same afternoon by another guy did you shower after you because now this guy is he's eating dick too oh he's eating pussy and dick like (laughs) holy shit that is like insane that's oh my god i'm dead another (laughs) one similar to yours Mm -hmm. i cheated on my boyfriend of 10 years with his best friend now me and the friend have four kids together. <gasps> oh, they they got serious. Yeah. Oh my, that's kind of... Oh my God, another one similar to the one They're just all now. cheating ones. 
another one similar to the one just now. I met up with two of my side pieces within the same night, a few hours apart. Say that again? Sorry. I met up with two of my side pieces within the same night, a few hours apart. Yeah. Yep. She got it on twice. Oh, my God. This is wild. My boyfriend lives with me and my parents don't know. How the fuck does he live with her? Hispanic parents don't play. They don't. So how the fuck is he living there? I think this is very possible. This is very (laughs) possible. How? You know, I... I have a sister-in-law that, you know, I love and that now we're like cool and everything and we've never had issues. But Ugo was having her live here when I didn't know she was living here. Oh, that's true. Yeah. And at first that was like a really like weird thing. Like, and of course, you know, she, this is the thing though. Like she didn't know that I didn't know. Mm -hmm. She thought I was fully aware until I was like, I had no idea. Uh Like, so I... I mean, that's a whole other thing. Like, people, I, I, I really do think about it. I'm like, oh, my gosh. Like, yeah, you're living with your man and you're in your parents' house and your parents don't know. <gasps> Dude, the moment they find him, it's going to be but an issue, girl. They're clearly doing doing it right that they haven't found him. I'm sure he's, like, being very sneaky about Is it. Is he just sneaking in at night or he's literally living with you? <clears throat> right Ooh, after work. Girl. Gets home. It's going to come out, girl. I had sex with my side. She just put that with my side in living room while my boyfriend was in the other room always cheating on me. Mm. I'm confused. I don't get it. Maybe he's been a cheater and he was in the other room sleeping and she brought her side piece in. Another one was married. I fucked my married coworker at work in the office numerous times. He was so hot. I miss him. You hear a lot of that stuff in the workplace. In the workplace where... A lot of times in the workplace, they're well aware that they're married. Mm-hmm. I used to work at this place. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm not going to say, of course, names or anything. This happens a lot. Can't assume anything. Like, this happens at a lot of mm-hmm. workplaces. But I remember, yeah, like, there was, like, hella drama up in that bitch. And this girl was, like, like kind of like the manager. And she always had, like, she was so mean, like, all the time. And I remember thinking, like, bitch, I could ruin your fucking life real quick. If I snitch, snitch on you, fucking the yeah, you the to cook's fuck wife. I mean, no, fucking the cook while his wife, because the wife would go in and shit to eat. Like, and I remember this girl; she was so That's mean so to everybody. Low. She That's had a so fucking low. attitude. She would treat it, all the workers like shit. And I remember thinking in my head, like I was like shy and stuff. So, but I remember thinking, like, bitch, I could fucking end this shit real quick for the bottom of you. Like, like literally, cause yeah. people are crazy, and yeah, she was well aware and everything. She would literally like salute her kids and shit. Like when they would come in to See, eat, that's like that's some fucked up shit. Like that's you're so seeing low. his wife come in with her kids, and you're over here. First being, of like, all, so fake they're both low as fuck. That guy is a piece of shit. Yeah, I remember like it was like shady as fuck, and like she would like be so nice to the wife and kids, and I was thinking like, how dare you? You're fucking her man. They're both pieces of I shit. Know. And that happens a lot in the workplace. A lot. You hear it a lot, yeah. This is another one. Slept with a married man without knowing he was married. He kept meeting me at hotels. Jesus. <laughs> you know what? This is crazy, y'all. You know what though? But you're meeting at hotels, Gorge. <laughs> <laughs> why isn't he why isn't he taking you home? Yeah. You know? It's hard. <laughs> like you you knew something was up, girl. Oh my god. These you know how they men. say too, like the married men, like they'll have like a tan in their finger. Oh, like maybe that's something you should be looking at, like that tan of that ring. Oh my gosh, y'all! I saw a Whatever TikTok. It was so sad. Karina, the mom was like recording. No, somebody was recording. I think it was a mom, and she had gone to like a retreat to like for her mental health. Oh God! And she came back early with her kid. Mm-hmm and there was i saw it there was a woman in the house she's like what are you doing here and like that guy comes out of course the motherfucker is silent doesn't know what the fuck to say he was shocked because she he, she was not he was not expecting her to come anytime soon and like this bitch is like you're married like you're his wife like bitch there's pictures of this family all over this house i think she knew she knew, but she, she knew was so because, shocked. Because when she walked in, she was like, who are you? And the girl was like, are you his wife? 
And she was like, yes. And she was like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> she fucking knew. And you know Bitch, what? Though? Sorry. Do, You're sorry you got caught. Like, yeah, I, I do feel for the girl because like, I don't, it's obvious she knew you're in this man's house. And literally in the video, there's pictures of the whole family. Like she definitely knew. She's like, but at least looks familiar. That's the girl in that picture. But you could tell that she felt remorse when she saw her. She was like, "I'm so sorry." Like she was probably like, "And like, Fuck, I didn't expect to that, ever like, see you." Pain, like you know, they feel like, oh, bitch, dude. People, this people. We are always talk shocked. about worst case scenarios, huh? Like with our friends. What, like, what would you do? How would you feel? Like, imagine walking into a room and like a bitch is hopping on your man, like oh. bouncing on your man's dick, bitch. No. Bitch. Oh no! Hell no! Grabbing her cheeks and all, like, <laughs> oh my god! I think about it, like, like, what would I plot? Like, would I say something in the moment, or am I leaving silently and just plotting some shit? I, I don't know if I could just leave silently. <laughs> Bitch, I'm gonna make some. I'm gonna make a rack. I, just, I don't even know what the. Fuck I'm making I would the do. ground shake, gorge. <laughs> dude i literally like i've thought about those scenarios and we I'm all like, rumbling imagine like <laughs> dude i'm thinking about those scenarios and i'm like what the fuck i think my immediate reaction i just don't even like know. to attack like what the fuck are you doing i would scream and i'm sure they'd fucking scatter to get their clothes and like ugh. I, I will say for sure, the bitch is like, although I like, got a nice figure, big ass titties, like, oh God, no, no. She's like this badass bitch, like, oh, fuck, no, oh my God, no, 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 no. no. Um, no. Like, why does it, it's so like cringy, but like, why does it hurt more knowing she's a bad bitch? Like, stop. <laughs> oh my God. No, because if she's an ugly bitch, like, yo, what are you doing? But like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh my god, no, no! I it's still hurtful. Yeah, but like it's just something about knowing she's like a badass bitch hopping on his dick. Like, oh, hell no. no, no! I think my this. I will say that my my first target would be him, and that's like not even a question. Of course, I would be like, who is this fucking bitch? A hundred percent, and I would hate her. I'm sure. But my first reaction, I think, is attack him a hundred percent. Yeah. If the bitch runs out while I'm attacking him, I don't even. I'm not even knowing. I probably wouldn't even notice her leaving. My would focus fucking, would definitely be on him. Cause there's bitches that will like immediately like come for the girl in situations like this, yeah. and the guy, it's like you're not even questioning him. Like that is like like he's out here fuck? fucking voluntarily fucking her. <sighs> Hell no. Like yeah. They say mm-hmm. though a lot of times, mm-hmm. honestly. A lot of people who have been through similar situations, like, they say that they had a feeling. It wasn't, like, a, like of course, it's shocking to see it, but a lot of times they, like, they knew, and that was their confirmation. hmm I feel like you would know if your man's doing some shit. You would f- somehow suspect You it, have right? to suspect it. Like, how do you not? There's got to be some fishy shit going on, whether it's, like... Whether it's you've been thinking like, what the fuck is? I don't know. You do see some like really crazy scenarios where like you're just shocked, like you didn't even like. For example, like Raul and I are together twenty four seven. Like that's not even a a thing that I would be shocked. Like you fucking while I'm sleeping or something because we're together all the damn time. We're constantly together. We work together. We're home together. Like I genuinely cannot even like picture it and like when i'm doing something here he's taking care of me or he's like you know like like we you can work get with away family. with it more if you're like working like separate jobs oh shit that's when that stuff and happens. you're like you could lie about what time you know yeah you clock out a lot all, of all of it i feel like a most, lot of cheating happens like at, at work. work yeah 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 like like most stories that i've heard it's like yeah, at work, they met somebody, one of their coworkers and shit. Like, and oh, like, no. also like you as like how you were saying um, how the girl would go to like work and like the, the wife, the wife would go and she even saw the girl. He was like fucking and she like, would go eat with her kids. Like, dude. I feel like I would suspect something about this woman like, no, I because just, she was just a server. And then she was just there serving like, well, she was like, she was like the head server. Like she would manage it all around and stuff. And you would know when they would fuck. It was so obvious that they their flirting and shit was just like so fucking obvious, and I just remember people would like gossip about it all the time. And I remember one time I even asked him like, "What's up with you and her?" And like he was like, "Yeah, like she's my side piece, basically." 
And I was like, damn, these people are fucking crazy. And he was, like, older, too. This girl was, like, young, probably, like, in her early 20s. This dude was probably, like, nearing his 50s and shit. Yeah, some shit, dude. Oh, my God. I just remember, like, she was so ballsy and so mean to everybody. And I would think, like, you got some balls, bitch. Like, why are you yelling at me? Because I didn't you, pick up the table fast enough. Do you think at some point the truth came out? Um... I think, oh my God, she actually ended up having um, a baby with him. She huh? actually ended up getting pregnant with him and then he left her and he abandoned that, that relationship because when shit got real, he was like, no, I have another family. Mm. So these motherfuckers will promise you the world until you give birth to their child and they're fucking gone. But the truth at some point had to come out. She had to at some point be like, hit up the girl like, I'm pregnant with your husband." I'm pretty sure. Maybe. This is why you shouldn't fuck with married men and don't believe them when they say that they're going to leave their wife, y'all. Mm-hmm. It's not happening. Speaking of like cheating and stuff like that and open relationships and all that, mm-hmm. do you know how there's people that have like a celebrity hot pass with their partner? Yeah. And they'll be like, I've seen this on TikTok, they'll be like, you cannot cheat on me. But if it's this celebrity and you have the opportunity, kind of like how Bad Bunny kissed that girl. <clears throat> oh god yeah like if you have the opportunity mm-hmm. your idol the guy that you love and like you're a big fan of mm-hmm. if he wants to kiss you is your partner okay with that celebrity hall pass comment below ladies i'm really curious i'm not okay with it i'm fucking not okay with it you still kiss another bitch she's a celebrity but she's still a human just like me bitch yeah. it's cheating period i would definitely be like but a hall pass like realistically it's called a hall pass for a reason. It wouldn't be considered cheating, cheating in their eyes. I mean, I'm still thinking it's cheating. I don't believe in hall passes. I, I don't, don't care. Believe it. I don't care how who this person is. You're not. She's not on a pedestal just because she's a no. Like I can have a celebrity crush on somebody, but I don't give a fuck if you even try to give me a hall pass. It's not happening. Period. But have you ever thought about how like it could be a celebrity crush, but that's still another human you're crushing on. Mm-hmm. That could still like hurt you your partner's feelings that's true so in that way you think about it and you're like well he's a celebrity I'm right Myra? Think, who's, he's a celebrity but he's still like a random who's person. your celebrity crush or does raul have a celebrity ha- crush i don't think i have a celebrity crush and i i don't think i honestly don't think raul has one unless he's never he's told me that when he was little like he was like in love with um um the girl from jesse hey jesse her? Like, that when she he was the, you know Jesse when he was like a kid no and I didn't even know until like Denise our niece was like she's like oh yeah he was like in love with um Jesse from Jesse Disney Channel I'm like that's so funny but like that I've only heard of his like childhood like Disney crushes that's it but like now like he doesn't find her attractive now Raul is like not even in the media world like that like he doesn't keep up with pop culture like that he really keep doesn't. Lied to yourself. I'm just no, <laughs> I'm, I'm being dead ass. <laughs> I'm totally kidding. I'm, totally, I'm like, keep lying to yourself. Like, why? No, just kidding. literally, like, <laughs> it's so. No, I, I swear, dude. I know. Like, I know. I'll ask him about like no, drama Raul, going on. Yeah, he, he's like very like not up to date. I with ask that. him like what like drama going out, gone with drama going out with like celebrities, Kardashians, like TikTokers and shit, and he has no fucking clue. <laughs> he's living All in his he own little bubble. Myra, like, literally, is like <laughs> Bitcoin shit. It's so cringy. <laughs> All he does is watch. Mama his- gotta get his coin. <laughs> All he watches is shit about that. Yeah. Like he follows these guys and they're always going live. That's all he fucking listens to his podcast about Bitcoin and like shit. Like that's all he does. <laughs> Crypto. Like that's literally his fucking life. Oh, that's funny. And makes slime. Imagine like what? Brian's celebrity crush is Shakira. Yeah. He's told me. Talk about her hips don't lie and shit. I'm like, period. <laughs> No, I mean, no. they don't. What's up? You they know, don't. she is a queen. She's a queen. But would you give him a hot pass if she ever wanted to kiss him? No, exactly. she can kiss him on the cheek. Like she can be like, "Oh, you're cute." That's it. Yeah, that's not, I wouldn't care about that. That's a little fangirl moment. Like, oh, he got his little mm-hmm. kiss on the cheek. Yeah, nothing further. Yeah, I don't think hot passes. Yeah, what if Edwin was on stage and gave me a kiss on the cheek and he like went like this to your chin? I wouldn't allow like it. bringing you forward. I wouldn't allow it. Like, I think he's cute. And we've talked about, like, oh, my God. Like, he was, like, my celebrity crush. But for one, I feel like after the whole cheating scandal, like, being for real, 
I don't see him like that. Girl, anymore. quit fucking playing. No, I really don't. <laughs> Myra, fuck, please. No, because I'm being serious. I don't know if I just don't find him like as attractive anymore. Maybe it was just like a little phase of like being such a huge fan. I don't even like my playlist right now. I don't listen to Grupo Feedman so much. I think like I it was so like played so much that I'm like I need you know the what music I mean? from them. Yeah, because the music I was obsessed with from them like earlier or last year. I'm not playing it every day now either because I need new stuff, you know? Exactly. And, like, there's just so much drama surrounding him with, like, cheating scandals that it did make him less attractive. Like, I'm I'm being honest. I don't see him, like, as attractive anymore. You don't talk about him that much anymore. Yeah, I really don't see him attractive like that. Like, I feel like it was just, like, a, a, a celebrity crush, like, where you're just, like, a huge fan. And it's just, like, it just goes away. But even then, when I was, like, a diehard fan, like, even then... I would never like not just him being married. I'm married. Like I would not do that. I know. I know. That's why I'm like, there's certain limits like a hall pass. Like, I'm sorry. It's unacceptable. Period. Yeah. What about the girl that, that kissed bad bunny? She got the opportunity. There's some die hard. Bad bunny has die hard. Fans, well, what's Myra? wrong with her getting her kiss? She had a boyfriend. Oh, she had a boyfriend. Th- no, no, no. Did she have a boyfriend? Doesn't bad bunny have a girlfriend? Bad bunny she has had a, girlfriend. a boyfriend. I think bad bunny has a girlfriend. But she had a boyfriend, too. I think so, if I'm not mistaken. See, like, but Bad Bunny, too. <sighs> this is the thing, like, not just us having celebrity hall passes. Like, celebrities having hall passes with fans. Uh-uh. That's a whole other story, Myra. I'm pretty sure he has a girlfriend. You guys, I don't keep up with him that much. You guys, please don't quote me. But I think he does have a girlfriend. And if your man was a superstar like that, would you be upset if he did you see the video of him kissing that girl he went back for more he went back for more yeah and that was my man bitch oh my god speaking of that whole cheating thing i saw a video yesterday on tiktok and it was like is your man not a cheater because he can't get bitches (laughs) or (laughs) oh he's dodging bitches knowing all the bitches he could get no 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 and that is different because it's easy if you can't get bitches it's easy for you to be like, I would never. But what if you were a man that had all this money and girls were throwing themselves at you? I'm going to respect the man that has bitches throwing themselves at him and he's dodging all of them. Absolutely. Then the guy that can't get nobody and it's just like, I would never cheat. No, you no, can't get no but bitches. I also seen a saying like, you know, these ugly dudes act like, you know, when you when you date with what's the, what is the saying like? dating the ugly dude and they're acting like you're the ugly one Mm -hmm. and they'll go cheat on you and you're like come on dude like Like, i gave you a chance because you were ugly and now you're acting like i'm the ugly bitch like yeah and you know you're acting like you you see a lot of that too it is always ugly It it is not anything to do with how attractive you got you are I think it was just trying to prove a cheating man is gonna cheat on you with anything but i think it was just trying to prove like just saying it and actually being challenged to like actually yeah that's true if you are if you know you're or bitch. they compared like you know someone that the real challenge is you meet this beautiful lady and she is like you're crushing for her but you you have the conversation with your wife like i'm avoiding it at all costs you know like you're knowing knowing that this person's attractive but you are like you fighting your you demons to not fuck her damn to, but but if my mind was open with me about that like listen this girl's pursuing me and she's a queen and i'm fighting all the demons to not cheat on you with her <laughs> bitch i'm sorry what well, i can't i don't even know what to think girl i mean like, like well, go fuck her then because i ain't staying with your ass like like why are you even thinking about her like why are you even but but the reality is we haven't happens. experienced that <laughs> So we yeah, like, cause our men can't get bitches. You know, like, no, cause we can't get nobody. <laughs> no, we haven't experienced that because we haven't been in that position. Yeah, I know what you mean. Find you a man that does everything Raul don't do. Just treats you like a queen gorge. <laughs> queen oh. is like, I'm leaving. Imagine just getting oh. <laughs> No well, in all honesty, Raul was that in another situation. Oh. Raul was to me, like, <laughs> starts crying. No, no, it's, no. I, Play the sad music. Imagine. <laughs> Raul was that. He was what I didn't have and what I deserved. 
Mm-hmm. And he swept Aww. me off my fucking feet, bitch. He Aww. really did. So treat your girl right. Treat no, your man Raul right. No, Raul is like such a great guy. And it's true when they say like treat them right because another person will. Ooh. If you don't. And that was Preach, my exact, girl. That was my exact situation to T. Yeah. When I met Raul, I was flabbergasted. Like, oh my god, people are like, this guy is so fucking nice. Yeah, maybe this scenario would be if you're not getting treated well at home, how you think you deserve, and then someone else is treating you how you they actually should be. Yeah, that's when it gets a little tempting because if you have someone that's like abusive at home or anything like that and there is a man out there that would treat you better when i hear i'm choosing the other one yeah when i hear about relationships where they're like you know he's a cheater he's been cheating on me he's been this our relationship has been falling apart and then they find someone Mm. and it's horrible because they're cheating back too but i'm like i'm not mad at you the fuck are you gonna do stand there and let him walk all over you Mm-hmm. you know so it just depends somebody said oh my god oh we still are back to the confessions <laughs> I, know, I just thought it was cute i already turned my phone off like i thought it was cute someone said i imitate chins and giggles when i'm in my room like i'm all famous and she's mostly on there like what? Oh, <laughs> queen. we are not famous y'all we just some fat bitches recorded in our <laughs> some two <fucking> big girls <laughs> spilling tea <even. laughs> I, it's funny because i love the podcast so much that i dead ass like when i'm having like real life situations like outside of here yeah i'm like reciting it in my head i'm like oh my god i can't wait to talk about it on the podcast yeah you'll do that oh my god yeah speaking of that i actually like saved the tiktok because i was like this is actually interesting it was like about cleaning i'm dead and i always get these waves of like girl cleaning. you you have you always like save things about like procrastination cleaning and homes i'm like sheesh you're like i need some of that shit no 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 because i i feel like i get these waves of like cleaning sometimes that i'm like i believe so like wholeheartedly in it that like it makes me feel so good it's great so it's just a guy cleaning and it says i clean my house once a week because it positively benefits my lifestyle here are nine reasons of why you should do the same it does help it makes you feel so good when you have a clean house it does like one it supports a strong immune system oh i didn't know it it promoted health it's proven to reduce stress think about a crazy mess around you bitch i can't it's proven to reduce stress a hundred percent proven to reduce stress bitch because i could fully see that when my house is dirty like right now stressing me out my living room like seeing shit everywhere the like it's not livable i get stressed i'm like i just want this remodeling to be done with right now that i haven't been home i get home and i get frustrated and i'll tell the kids like I'm pick up after your fucking dishes like yeah it and does like, a lot it's frustrating a clean space will increase your pro- productivity 100 percent. i naturally when i have the house clean i'm just more productive mm-hmm. i want to start my day it's like um, the whole bed thing when yeah. you have a clean house you just feel like you could take on the world yeah, like even this morning I was rushed because I, I got here kind of late. And I remember like, I, I looked at my bed. And I'm like, fuck, I haven't done my bed. And part of me was like, do the bed. But I'm like, I don't have any time to do the bed. And it fucked me up a little bit knowing that my bed's not done. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like, oh, my bed's not done. But I, it's weird because like I could have stages where my room's dirty. And I could have stages where I'm like binge cleaning. Like there has to be a name for that shit. There has to be like a day out of your week where you dedicate to just picking up so it is kind of like self-care too yeah like have you ever just like took in a day where you're like today i'm gonna like um put all my laundry away and this and that and like it kind of it feels like self-care where sometimes when it's like 3 a.m and you just get this burst of energy to clean your whole house like you're like i'm remodeling i'm redoing my whole closet right now (laughs) at three in the morning bitch like why a clean a clean bedroom will help you get a good night's sleep and will be and will be refreshing to start the day off. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sometimes you don't notice For like, sure. where the stress is coming from. But it is your environment. It's because it's a whole task that's on your mind. And you're going on about your day and you're like, oh, I got to take care of this. Got to take care of this. It's like with anything else. It's like with any other task that is on your mind. Until you take care of it, it feels like a relief. Mm-hmm. It's the same thing. It encourages a healthier lifestyle. Yeah, I'm sure. Six improves your mood and makes you feel accomplished. One hundred percent agree. Very with that. much that. I one hundred percent. Um, helps you stay organized. Yep. Because I feel like once you're in a cleaning mode, you're cleaning every day 
to not have it like accumul- accumulate. Kind of like right now you're saying like, fuck, like the house is dirty because it's accumulating. Yeah. When you are keeping up with it, it's just like maintenance, you know? Yeah. It's but just when it's keep- a mess and you let it get too far, that's when it becomes stressful because you're like, oh, Do you God, feel stressed out right now. Fucking day to clean it. I do because just a couple of days ago, me and Raul were really like deep cleaned. Mm-hmm. And since we've been at the warehouse, like, I, I don't know, maybe we're just not paying attention, but I get home at night and I'll see like dishes and I'll see like the dogs peed over here. They peed over here and like nobody picked up after it. That shit, it does like the fuck, you know, like, or I'll see sometimes like lights on and stuff and like, it stresses me out. Like, mm-hmm. I'm like, y'all, like, what the fuck, you know? But yeah, like, you know, I'm thinking like we cleaned already and now it's like within a few days fucking crazy and not even i'm not even home mm-hmm. so it's shit like that just stressed me out and i think about how like how stuff has piled up so i'm like okay now that's gonna be an entire day of deep cleaning and i don't got time right now dude i'm like i know this next week is gonna be fucking crazy that's what stresses me out mm-hmm. but um eight removes any nasty unwanted smells yeah of course. like you know if you have dirty dishes i start thinking fucks up. with your mood too yeah uh and nine it increases happiness i am a huge believer in that because i have gotten like my room my room has gotten dirty like i i will be the first to admit like my room sometimes like i'm i'm very clean downstairs but my bedroom like has gotten to a point sometimes where i'm like this is not healthy like there's (laughs) clothes everywhere (laughs) yeah and it's mainly clothes and i've learned to like slowly um just like bag it up i haven't donated a lot of my clothes recently but i just have it in bags mm-hmm. and i'm like i just need to get rid of it i, I need to, and i'll separate yeah. it i'm like this is donation donation and i haven't got rid of it but it's like at least like now it's in the garage right yeah but it's like it's just pure clothes so that's helping too like what i noticed too how i was helping you the other day clean like remember i told you i'm like sometimes there's there's clutter throw it away like I feel like we hold on to certain things. The less clutter, the less stress, the less shit you have to pick up. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So that's just how I feel. I'm like, I'm starting when to. When you're just picking up, it's just like a simple task that could take you 10 minutes to pick up real quick. I feel like I used to be a hoarder. I would like have like emotional attached feelings I to something. I still think I'm a bit of a hoarder. Uh-huh. Uh huh. And I think it comes from our parents. Yeah, like, um, when you know before moving here like years ago where we originally lived like yeah like i feel like my parents were kind of hoarding vibes mm-hmm. i don't know if it's all like hispanic parents i think it's I a have. hispanic thing because we're like every corner has to have something like yeah. on it like like the kitchen counter everything like yeah. what the fuck is all this yeah you know and i feel like now as an adult like i i'm trying to break that hoarding habit i've done it a lot with clothing now where it's like put this in bags and donate it put this here or you know give this away <clears throat> now i i hoard a lot of like decor mm-hmm. but a lot of it my mom like now when she goes to mexico she's like we're sending it all over there well even myself um now that we're doing the remodeling like i'm like okay like once i start decorating this li- decorating this living room like it's a complete different vibe i'm going for everything everything that i don't want just give it away get rid of it so i give my mom some stuff and she took it to mexico too but yeah, let us know in the comments down below. What are some hobbies that you do around the home that help you? Like, do you start deep cleaning? Do you start decorating? Because I feel like for me, I'm like a huge like decor person. Um, I'm all about my yeah, decor. I feel like that makes me happy to like that. I look forward to that. And I'm like, OK, I want to decorate and I want to do this, for example, fall. So that's what I know. I'm like, I'm going to do deep cleaning before I decorate. Um, but right now, like I said, like I feel like been busy. genuinely like the last few months I like two months or so ever since we moved to the warehouse like for real for real for real i feel like i live over there mm-hmm. i only sleep here maya yeah we are not here i'm talking like I, when i get home like say we do take one day off randomly like i'm thriving just being home because we're not here like for real right now i feel like i live at the warehouse when i was looking at decor instead of thinking like i can't wait to decorate the house i wasn't even thinking about the house i was like oh, i can't wait to decorate the warehouse like the offices mm. that's all i was thinking about and that's when i was like bitch i'm here too fucking much like i need to go home man. but no i'm not even complaining i'm not complaining at all i'm just saying like yeah i'm like no, oh my I, I want to decorate you're the house the, too and it's great that you're busy but also you know like maybe once you guys settle down find some balance where you could be home 
yeah and like I can't enjoy wait. your days off no. too you know i'm a um one of these days we're gonna try to take it off too yeah so to decorate here and like to deep clean and stuff yeah no yeah for sure it's not even like a complaint but yeah i'm like oh shoot i'm like thinking about the warehouse decorating that because you know yeah. like but i would love to yeah just be here and decorate we need here. to go shopping together for fall oh god i you know what me and myra are the type of people that like when we're decorating for fall like we're we at both, each other's houses yeah yeah like when i'm decorating for fall Myra's no when here. i used to live here bitch i used to go the fuck off in that living room remember mm-hmm. how the fireplace i would like deck i yeah. i just feel like karina if i wasn't doing any of this i think i would be like an interior designer somehow you 100 percent would like i really think so like i yeah my my house right now is kind of a disaster with like the entryway and, entryway and stuff but like what i have planned out like it's gorgeous yeah like the only thing right now that's like so put together is brian tito's living room because that's the only thing that like is kind of remodeled i definitely trust you with decor we always go shopping for decor together Mm -hmm. and we'll either stop at like either your house or mine but we're always decorating and then first starbucks and then we'll go to like yep we go get our our fall drink pumpkin cold brew bitch and we're on our way home to decorate that is the day right there you go get your fucking pumpkin drink at starbucks you go get some fucking decor done. Yeah. I want to pull up to uh, Michael's. Myra, pull up to Michael's. Shit. It's Halloween. The house up in that bitch. Target actually has aesthetic stuff, but they're, they are cute. No, pull up to Michael's. Halloween. The house, bitch. Yeah. But, but let us know if you guys are excited for fall. Um, We hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And like always, we'll catch y'all on the next one. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Bye. Bye. Now a word from our sponsor, BetterHelp. Self-care is so important for our mental health, y'all. Let me ask you this. How well would you take care of your car if you had to keep the same one your entire life? Wow, I didn't think about it that way. A car does need maintenance. Well, that's how our brains work, too. We also need maintenance. Just like we take care of our car, we deserve to take care of our mental health. Our quality of life is definitely affected by how we take care of our mental health. Our brain is so powerful, it literally controls every aspect of our life. So why aren't we investing our time into caring and keeping it healthy? And there's plenty of ways to support a healthy brain, by the way. Like self-care, you know, there's journaling, meditation, exercise, and then there's also BetterHelp Online Therapy. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. Every single person on this earth can benefit from therapy. I've actually done online therapy myself, and it was a great experience. So what's iconic about BetterHelp is that it's an online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat only therapy sessions. I love this because I dread meeting a therapist in person. I just feel like I get really nervous and awkward with this. You don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. I definitely agree with this. It was so much more comfortable for me doing it over the phone than an in-person. It was so much more comfortable than I thought it was going to be. It's also so much more affordable than in-person therapy, by the way. By the way, you could be matched with a therapist in under 48 hours, y'all. We do have a special offer for you guys. All our listeners get 10% off of their first month at BetterHelp.com slash Chins and Giggles. That's Better, H-E-L-P dot com slash Chins and Giggles. Y'all, so you know we've been on a skincare journey and we really want to start using makeup that works together with our skincare products. Girl, lately I've had such a busy schedule, so that would really help me. She's keeping her makeup on for hours on end, girl. So I need something that could work the best for my skin. Girl, get on it because I've been recently using Clinique's first foundation design to be the last step in your skincare routine. Even better, Clinical Serum Foundation is formulated with three serum technologies that visibly reduce dark spots, brighten, and hydrate skin. Wow, so it's foundation and skincare in one. Mm Mm-hmm. In as little as eight weeks, skin appears more even-toned, radiant, and even smoother after makeup is removed. Foundation doesn't do it justice. This is a clinical foundation built with three serum technologies. It doesn't just cover, it completes your regimen by visibly correcting, hydrating, and smoothing the look of skin with every wear. Fun fact, every glass bottle of even better clinical serum foundation can be recycled, you guys. Remove the cap and pump, rinse the glass bottle, and place in a recycling bin. This hydrating foundation formula provides buildable, medium-to-full coverage with a satin finish. 
In addition to boasting a feather lightweight texture and 24 hour color true wear, it is oil free, waterproof, sweat and humidity resistant, non acnogenic non-settling or creasing non-pouring and non-streaking you got me sold girl this is available in 42 shades you guys find your shade today with clinique's clinical reality shade match science it is a virtual try-on don't call it makeup this is a skincare and just your shade find your shade today at clinique.com